This is for you if you want to manifest an ex back, an up-leveled version of them, or someone new. Welcome to the 14-day Queen Up Challenge. As we have seen, there are three simple steps required to manifest anything that you want. Step number one, set your magnetizing intention from the right energy. Days one, two, and three, cover that. Step number two, holding space for your manifestation. What you do during this phase will make or break your manifestation. I started teaching you some of the tools I teach in my manifestation mastery program, and you've started to create sentences that actually reflect where you are energetically right now. We cannot go to where we want to go unless we identify where we currently are. That is exactly what we worked on on day six and day seven. Go back if you need to fine tune that sentence. Some of you are creating sentences that are very powerful, but still there is a little bit of an inclination to do it as an affirmation. Again, an affirmation when you are affirming that is strong, forceful energy, trying to counteract what's really going on energetically, all the doubt, all the fear, all the insecurity. This forceful energy activates needy energy and needy energy repels exactly what you want. There is way too much confusion on social media about what manifestation is, and this is absolutely hurting your manifestation. So let's clarify. I'm going into depth on this in the manifestation Q&A on Friday. If you're not signed up yet, click on the link to sign up. Manifestation is not something that we do just to get what we want. Manifestation is something that we're doing all of the time. We're doing it 24 seven. How are we doing it? From our thoughts, and our beliefs. Whatever I believe about money is being manifested in my bank account. Whatever I believe about love is being manifested in my relationships. It is something that happens moment to moment in my life experience. It is not something that we just do to get what we want. You are manifesting all the time. How do we manifest? We manifest from our state of being. If I'm in a state of fear, worry, doubt, insecurity, I am activating needy energy and it is repelling what I want. So I'm manifesting, not getting it. If I'm in a state of confidence, secure, magnetic, attractive, queen energy, I am attracting what I want. So I am manifesting it. So there's people asking when they write the sentences from day six and day seven, oh, please tell me how to write it so that I can manifest him. And this is the biggest mistake of all. Manifestation is not just a sentence someone gives you that you repeat 10, 20, 30 times or put under a pillow or write on a bay leaf or throw some cinnamon on it for it to happen. All those tools are fun and games and I'm all for it for fun, for playfulness, but absolutely will not help you manifest what you want unless you do this. Manifestation requires that you develop the belief system that supports you getting what you want. So if you do a tool like the bay leaf, writing a name on it and then burning it, and you do not believe that that action will get you what you want, you will not manifest it. It is not the action, babe. It is the belief that gets you what you want. Manifestation is all about learning to develop the belief system that makes you an energetic match to what you want, to attract to you what you want. Whenever you are forcing, chasing, manipulating, trying to get that thing that you want, it is activating needy energy that repels. So back to the sentences that you're working on. That is just one of the tools I teach in the Manifestation Mastery Program. There's over 20 tools that I teach. Learning to apply the tool that you need at the right time is the key to getting you closer and closer to your manifestation. So if that tool is not as helpful for you, today we're going to go to the up-leveled version of affirmations. If you've never heard about it, they're called affirmations. And affirmations are simply stating what it is that we want in a question form instead of a statement. Why do we do that? Because the mind is constantly asking questions. Whether you notice it or not, 
It is always asking, what am I going to do? What's going to happen? Why did I do that? What am I going to eat later? That is the natural way the mind works. So we are going to use the way the natural, the natural way the mind works to help us manifest more of what we want. So you're going to take any statement that you wrote before and turn it into a question form, kind of like this. Why is it so easy for me to let go of old patterns and allow new beliefs to be developed? Why is it becoming so easy for me to start seeing that I can develop the belief system to manifest what I want? Why am I finding more and more evidence that I am a powerful manifester? Now you've given your mind a useful task. When it gets a question, it is compulsive. It has to look for an answer to that question and it will do whatever it can to find you answers. Now you start having a mind that's actually working in your favor instead of against you. So post in the comment your affirmations for feedback and I'll see you tomorrow for more on how to dissolve that needy energy that repels.